We had two apple trees in our backyard for a full week in the early spring, right around Mother's Day. They were full of these beautiful fragrant blossoms, white blossoms, so many that when it, they started to drop from the trees, it looked like it was snowing. That first year I saw the trees and then the blossoms and I could already taste the apples. The second year, there were blossoms and then apples, but they were small and misshapen. Year after year, the trees made this big show of blossoms and year after year, there was no fruit. It's like the parable Jesus tells recorded in the Gospel of Luke about the man with the vineyard and a fig tree that didn't produce any figs. A fig tree without any figs is really just a tree. And an apple tree that only blossoms in the end has no place in the orchard. I've got to wonder if the same is true for us. Created, planted where I am, not just for a show, but to bear good and abundant fruit. After 10 summers of pruning and fertilizing, last spring I finally cut down my apple trees. It was time to plant something that bears good fruit.